Hi. <coughs> I actually made some decent progress. Lost. I turned Jimmy down a bit. There you go. Yes. I actually made some positive progress. Um, wasn't chopping stuff up. I did the final mounting of the front here, made another bracket to mount the top here. That's now solid straight to the frame. Um, we'd obviously cut this panel to here, so we've pulled this panel in now and screwed it to the, the windscreen frame, pulled it correct, and I started to build it back up. As you can see, this door sticks out further than this, so this needs to, this is kind of an angle change, so we'll build this up with fiberglass while we're doing this to, <coughs> to be reasonably level with that. So the panel is now obviously bonded back on. Um, now it's bonded onto this because obviously I was happy with the position of this. This is perfectly vertical, as is where the door is once, once it's bonded together. But I'm not going to put anything together until I know everything else is lined up. So um, uh, stuff like this I had to do because I wanted to make the door fit. So now <coughs> this is done. I made a, low, made a different lower pivot. The top plate is what came with the, the body. Um, it's basically a small turned aluminium piece with a <coughs> quarter inch UNF thread. Um, it's uh, temporary riveted uh, presently to the back skin, but I'll eventually um, use some uh, <coughs> structural, uh, structural uh, epoxy and uh, bond it together and then probably mat the inside out fiberglass. The bottom point was a little bit different uh, because this plate, uh, this vertical actually is further in now than it was before because I've moved everything out. Um, it gives me the ability to actually make a nice amount. So we've got a nice, a nice big weld onto there, a nice bit of three mil plate, turned up another piece. So now we're, I'm dead happy with that. We've got a decent low amount. Low amount done, top mount side already CNC'd a while back. Um, but to get the two rod ends to line up. So basically we theoretically get a, a center line through that rod end all the way through to the rod end here. Um, had to put that uh, piece there on a kind of a slant so that's why it looks a little bit this way but basically that <coughs> that bolt there has to be in a center line of there otherwise when it opens uh, you'll lose the gap either side and it will bind. But this doesn't bind at all. As I can see the door comes Actually, I can send it out here. Hard to see, but the door now comes completely open. Will virtually come all the way back on itself. So they are so well aligned. <coughs> and if you look at the rod end now, the gap between either side of the rod end is still pretty much the same. So I've got that angle right. Um, yeah, ignore the long bolt at the moment. Um, <coughs> eventually, they'll also be a cut down bolt the correct length. <coughs> so, yes door now opens and closes. We're going to put a rubber stop here. It sees a nice uh, horizontal service at the back there so we can put a, a rubber bung stop somewhere here, uh, come up with a riser just to make it so it's got a nice clonk to it. Also put the rubber bung there and when I put the catch inside I can shut that down it'll actually pressurize the door nicely and gives a bit more room and a seal. <coughs> you can tell by the door gap um, we're reasonably even. There's a bit of a lull in the door here, but nothing too bad. And there's a tiny lull in the bodywork there, so this has got to be built up, and this has got to be built up to match. But gap's pretty good. It's too close in places, but I'd sooner have it too close at the moment. Once the car's all done, before we send it to paint, and basically we'll gap, so we get a nice even gap all around the door. That gap there is about acceptable, about two to three mil. This is a bit tight here, it's a bit tight there, it's a bit loose here, so I have to extend the bodywork out, the door out a tad just to meet that. <coughs> but this is in its best compromised position, should we say. Um, so now that's solid, I'm dead happy now I've got a pivoting door. To say that I've probably opened and closed this door about 20 times today, yeah, I wouldn't be lying. <coughs> so, so yeah, we're <coughs> getting traction with the centre. So once this centre pod, the door, the windscreen and all that area, is, all those areas are uh, pretty much fixed and I'm happy with it. You know the front and the rear clip are easily <coughs> fixed and modified to meet it but I just need to get the best compromise 
for the centre position before I actually bother to do the front and rear clip. Um, so yeah, this side, dead happy with. Um, it's, you know, it's just hard to tell with this thing, but realistically that is about as deadpan flat as, um, as I'm going to get it. Which is, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just a lot happy with that now. The door opens and closes, it's the best bit. <coughs> um, this door we're a little bit further away from. Um, and we can see in previous videos, you saw the top of the door here up quite high. Now I thought it was the door top piece being slightly out. But the more I looked at it, we were, the door was in here and I couldn't, I, I, pushing that in didn't feel right. So bringing the door out so that it was level with here actually got this closer to being down and level with here. So basically I ended up doing that to the door, which actually made this edge all the way along there and all the way along there and actually all the way down to here actually fit nicely. It is a little bit loose, so I'm gonna to have to build the, build the back edge of the door out about four mil. Um, kind of annoying, a lot of work just to do that, but um, <clears throat> it actually, the, uh, the spline around the car, or basically the shape around the car, it follows, and the, the gap's just about, you know, um, manageable, so. I, I, I was quite surprised that I'd missed it before. Now, unfortunately, if you can imagine, the door was out like here, now we've bent it this way. You can imagine what's happened to this flat surface of the door here, it's come out. So, <clears throat> whereas I've got the door to fit all the way around here, Unfortunately now, when it gets from there, as it tapers down to here, it actually sticks out about seven mil. And uh, it's closer to eight mil at the front. So basically this door face is like this. But seeing as I've already chopped the other side to get it correct, well, you know what, guess what's gonna happen? We're gonna have to chop this one in and bring it in. Um, we can bring it in as a pair, but to be honest, it's just as easy to, <coughs> see we've got the nice flat surfaces we've done here. I'll do the same thing, I'll chop the outer skin off. But instead of doing two pieces, I'll just do the whole thing in one piece. And I'll uh, <coughs> make a new outer skin again for this door. And then we'll push the inner skin in <coughs> enough to make it sit right. But um, checking around on the heights, this point here to its sister the other side, this point here before it dives down to its sister the other side within one or two mil. Um, this face here, so you can imagine this, whether the blue line is there, where the blue line is there, yet again, we're within about one or two mil from that side, here and here, one or two mil from that side. So actually the heights on either side of the car and getting them to marry up now, and it is making a little bit more sense. <coughs> um, point position, there's heights on here. Um, the other side, this is need to come up slightly, so we had to raise this, and we had to raise this. So this area here now is actually taller than it used to be before. Um, <coughs> looking at the door to the floor, this point here is down by about three to four millimeters. So this door is probably gonna be five millimeters taller than the other door. You know, as I said before, if I'm within a half, within a quarter of an inch, I'm, I'm not gonna bother correcting it. Um, <coughs> but um, it does mean that this is just, this panel here is slightly different to the other one. As you can see, oh, uh, this is the infill panel, which goes over the top of the hinge and sort of hides the hinge. What else? You can see there's a bit of a gap there to the bottom of it, so we'll have to build a new panel up for that. Um, <coughs> but the spline from well, uh, the surface, should we say, along the edge of the door down into the scoop and along the top, along the top ridge and along here, um, uh, aren't too bad. So um, it's just this whole face, unfortunately, is out. I was trying to marry that face up and get this flat. Of course, all it was doing was lifting out the top. So basically, if you can imagine what's happened to the door, somehow, instead of being like that, it's like this. So I was trying to correct it and lift at the top. So, yeah. <coughs> at the end of the day, you try and find the easiest thing to fix. And it's a lot harder to fix the top piece than it is me trying to fix the bottom. Um, so, so I'm gonna fix the bottom. <coughs> so we temporarily aligned the door up with some <laughs> ties similar to this, just rivet something in to give it the correct height and uh, drop the door on and got this this edge here the best I could so this is why now this is mounted up it's not obviously solid to this end because I've got to finish here and I've only just put two layers of glass 
on this side at the moment. I'll eventually put another two layers on this side and another two layers on the back um, because this is obviously a hinge pivot point. We need some reasonable thickness there. And ironically, the as everybody else is quite thick, that plate is actually quite thin. It's just, yeah, yeah nothing could be planned that badly, could it? <coughs> so yes, um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a bit happier now because I'm actually getting progress on here. So, but uh, yeah, she's coming along. You know, once I click away at the small little bits, eventually there won't be many of them left. And yes, we'll just have to open the door again just for the hell of it. And there we go. <coughs> ah, let's come back. Right. <coughs> Have fun, and I'll uh, see you all in November. <laughs>